is that the High Court has ruled that Shamima Begum should be allowed to return to the UK to challenge the decision to revoke her British citizenship. The 20-year-old was 15 when she left the UK in 2015 with two school friends to join the so-called Islamic State in Syria. Well, let's get more from our defence and security correspondent, Alistair Bunkle, who's following the case from West London. Alistair. Yeah, Adam, so um, Shamima Begum last year, when she was found in uh, a camp being uh, held by Syrian Defence Forces, was stripped of her citizenship. Uh, by the then Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, uh, partly on the basis of national security and because of the justification that she also had, at the time, uh, Bangladeshi citizenship. So the British government, by removing British citizenship, wasn't leaving her entirely stateless. Uh, she disagreed and she tried to appeal that through her lawyers at SIAC, which is the Special Immigration Appeals Commission, but she was unsuccessful. Now, her lawyers have now successfully argued that because she has not been allowed to return to the UK to appeal this decision in person, that she hasn't been given a fair due part of the process, and she should be allowed to come here in person to appeal the decision and to put forward her case. The Court of Appeal in London today um, has decided, and three judges came to this decision, that, and I'll read the exact words, Ms. Begum should be allowed to come to the United Kingdom to pursue her appeal, albeit subject to such controls as the Secretary of State deems appropriate. Now, that's the Home Secretary, now, of course, Priti Patel, not Sajid Javid. This, as I understand it, will go back to SIAC, the Special Immigration Appeals Commission, for more consideration because they have expertise in this. But what it does in a nutshell, from Shamiga Baden's point of view and her lawyer's point of view, is it really bolsters her case that she should be allowed back into this country, albeit inevitably under very strict controls, in order to try and appeal the decision in person to have her British citizenship uh, reinstated.